Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Cody, the Astro Adventurer, and I'm gonna take you through a tutorial today of how to process uh, planetary or moon images, very similar. Uh, we're gonna do a moon image today. Uh, just got a new camera, the SI-678MC, and I was testing it out on moon and then Mars. I'll probably do a follow-up one on Mars, but we're gonna start out with the moon today. And if you're using a Mac, it will be a little bit different. You're probably going to use Cyril uh, to do this process, but uh, I'm using a Windows PC, so we're going to use pip uh, to convert the files into something that AutoStacker, like a SIR file or AVI file, will understand. So we're going to start out in uh, pip over here. So just give me a second. I'm going to open that up, and then we're going to um, add in our image file, and I already know where it is. Downloaded it off of... Uh, iCloud there, and this is the one we want. Uh, no, actually, I'm sorry. This is the one we want um, for the moon image. Yeah, there we go. Open that up, and then I uh, just should be okay with everything. Um, we're looking at a planetary image, um, so that should be fine. Um, well, actually, no, I'm sorry. We're doing a lunar close up image, yeah, because we don't have the whole. If we had the whole moon in there, then we we would probably consider it like a, a planetary one. But since we're doing uh, a really <laughs> close up of the moon there, I was using my C8 so uh, with the new camera, so it was a really, uh, really close up view there. And we're gonna do a solar or lunar um, close up video. So go over to do processing and let's go ahead and start processing uh, the, the file there. It might take a little bit of time because this is a pretty big image. So bear with me here and I'll be back in just a second. All right, I'm back here. I did finish processing, didn't take too long. I wonder if it even told us how long it took. Give me a second. I'm gonna go in here. Um, looks like, yeah, it took 130 seconds. So it's not too bad. This is a pretty big file. It actually take a lot less time when you're uh, using a file that's a lot smaller. Um, I've seen it take as, as quickly as like 10 or 15 seconds before. So we processed, uh, looks like 2,686 frames and it automatically shows us where it uh, saved the video and opened it up there. It's in the downloads folder. So uh, we should see it in downloads, I believe. Yeah. So it's uh, 2108 underscore 37 pip file there. So, so we're going to now exit out of here and we're going to go into auto stacker. So we're going to load the video that we just did into auto stacker, the video we just processed, I should say. So let's open it up here, um, go to libraries and uh, we need to go to downloads. There we go. And this should be the one we just did today, I believe. Yes, that is the most recent one, so that should be the one. All right, so it's, there it is. Let's open that. Great, so we have the moon there. All right, so now we're gonna process this. Um, so basically, we wanted to draw some boxes on here, um, so you can place have it automatically place the grid on there for you um, where basically where the object is so we can try that let's see if it automatically yeah so we have it automatically on there we'll see how this goes I've done this a couple times with the automatic it doesn't quite work right so we'll, we'll see how this one um, how this one works here and then I think we'll go down here yeah it's not the whole planet it's the surface so we need to okay yeah yeah so we need to select the surface is going to do it a little bit differently there um, Good there. Um, then we have to analyze it. So let it analyze. Shouldn't take too long. And I should mention that AutoStacker and PIP that I've been using are both free software. So don't have to pay anything for that. It looks like it automatically detected where the object was. It looks pretty close. Yeah, it just looks, didn't get quite everything up there. Shouldn't be a big deal though. Yeah. Looks like we got pretty much everything here, which is great. So as you can see, surface stabilization, so it kind of stabilized it, uh, buffering it a little bit as well. Um, I'm not going to sharpen it because I'm going to do that myself later on. And I think we are basically good to go. Um, 
yeah, place the grid again for the stacking. Yep, good to go there. And now we don't have to do drizzle or anything. Cause I think it should be pretty high quality. It's I, I did this in full HD, so I think that should be enough. If you do drizzle, if the resolution isn't quite up to stop stuff, uh, snuff, sorry, um, if it isn't quite high enough. So, all right, let's go ahead and stack this. And I don't think this should take too, too long, although we are doing over 2,000 images, so you never know. And it should just stack the best images that we uh, have out there. So now it's aligning everything. Yeah, this isn't taking too long. So this process isn't too bad. Um, I'll have to do the next one, like I was saying, with uh, Mars. Um, I did take some videos of Mars at the same time I did the moon. Um, they they turned out okay. I'm, I'm going to see if they if we're able to process some stuff. Sometimes if it's too small, when I'm putting in there, the image of Mars looks pretty small, it won't um, process it in PIP correctly. Um, so I might have to actually use a different software or just mess around with the settings a little bit. So yeah, we'll do the moon for now. I think a lot of people are, are wanting to get into astrophotography are usually taking pictures or videos of the moon first. They might be buying uh, planetary cameras and planetary cameras are a lot cheaper than like the deep sky um you know cameras that we're, we're using um for nebula and and also for galaxies like my my net camera i use the 2600 mc pro asi you know zw asi 2600 mc pro is expensive it was like 17 you know actually 1800 dollars. and my planetary camera is one of the brand new camp planetary cameras again by zw asi and it was only 300 dollars. so it's a lot easier to to get into planetary imaging, moon imaging than it is doing deep sky imaging with like uh, deep sky astrophotography with nebula and, and galaxies. So I think a lot of people are also just starting out with the moon. I mean, people take pictures of the moon all the time, even with their cell phones, right? So uh, it's much more accessible. We see the moon all the time. Um, so that's why I wanted to start out with kind of a moon processing uh, video. If you're kind of stepping up from maybe you've been using your uh, your phone camera or maybe potentially your DSLR um, to take pictures and now you've bought a dedicated astronomy camera for planetary camera if you will for taking those uh, videos through your telescope this is the process you would want to use on a Windows PC for doing that so uh, should be stacked pretty soon I believe so just give me a few more minutes and we'll see what we come up with yeah we're doing analysis and nation yeah there we go i think we are all done there great so that should have saved our output file and everything yeah looks like everything is processed i believe and we saved it in a tiff a tiff file as well so uh stay tuned and we'll open it up in uh photoshop in just a second and go from there and here are the pictures after I've edited them in Photoshop. So I have a couple different versions here. I hope you enjoy. Thanks for joining, and I'll see you next time. Bye.